Hello and very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by the Asperger Super Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well this evening. Jaldi se start karte hain. Aaj, of course, we're going to be starting uh, with this mega revision. Kal bhi hum logo ne kuch questions kiye the. And our target is by the end of this week, we should have been practicing at least 500 concepts. And before your exam, uh, looking at close to about 1200 to 1500 concepts. Take okay? uh, care. Without further ado, let's just very quickly get started. Please share it with your friends and let them know we are live. Uh, today's surprisingly you know the the, the flight has shown uh, efficiency and we, we've actually taken the departure at a uh, faster rate altogether good evening good evening devashish good evening satendra good evening dominator kasturi ronisha uh, ethereal abhilasha devashree ronisha ne 9 30 ki bhi achhi tarah se regularly classes attend kiya very nice okay uh jaldi se start karte hai. so today our primary agenda is going to be we will be looking at a few questions and uh jitne zada questions ko concept ke through hum cover karenge that will be our end priority that will be our end goal good evening queen good evening shrabani uh good evening Abhilasha, uh, chalo. Jaldi se, without further ado, let's just very quickly get started. I'll get my pens up to task uh, so that all of you can actually revise it. I will give a PDF on uh, English, uh, uh, so English Literature Hustlers ke upar main iska PDF pe de dungi so that you can actually revise that. Uh, so just make sure that all of you are definitely a part of it. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's just quickly get started. Also, please remember, I wanted to inform all of you uh, that the batches in full fledged, uh, especially for your June 2024 attempt, they will be starting on the 7th December onwards. You will be able details and you will be able to Good evening, good evening. Uh, so just make sure that all of you uh, know all the details in case if you need any support. So uh, be it your gate exam, your PhD entrances, a lot of your set exams are coming like Northeast set as well as West Bengal set. So any English literature based exam that you're preparing for, matches are actually going to be kickstarting. Uh, you can take a note of the Telegram channel as well, Nija Ram Test Book. Uh, this is also another important one where we'll be running a lot of these posts. Okay. Uh, chalye. Yes, Queen, aapke previous year's questions bhi honge. We will be covering previous year's questions as well. Now, it's typically 15 days to your exams. Or in 15 dino mein hum kya kya karne wale hai. So, our target is of course to look at 1200 to 1500 concepts. Let's see hum kitne kam complete kar paate hai before your exam. Uh, so, let's very quickly get started. Ashka ka first concept is very simple. Read the following lines in a station of the metro. The apparition, apparition, apparition. Certain things that just come and goes away of these faces in the crowd petals and a wet black bow because you're not able to remember the the faces of the people Aapko yaad nahi rahenge, so it's the apparition of these faces in the crowd petals on a wet black bow which of the following poetic programs is illustrated by the above lines which of the following poetic programs is illustrated very good imagism is the right answer so our speech uh, speed pakdenge is bar aaj ke uh, time mein. Uh, so we'll be increasing the speed a little bit and uh, we'll be making sure that all of us are comfortably doing it i'm just taking the pen and then, right, so imagism becomes uh, the correct answer over here. So imagism is, is somebody, is something which is inspired by T.E. Hume. We have a question of who is the father of imagism. T.E. Hume ke teaching se, uh, imagism is getting inspired. So you should know T.E. Hume in imagism, uh, se, what is it trying to tell you? It is trying to condense everything together. So, you will have to keep this in mind that Hume is the person who is associated with all of these William Carlos Williams, Amy Lowell, Hilda Little, Ford Maddox Ford, F.S. Plinch, all of these William Carlos Williams, Amy Lowell, Hilda Little, Ford Maddox Ford, F.S. Plinch, all of these are people associated with your images movement. Okay? It is also getting influenced by Chinese and Japanese form of condensed form of poetry. So, uh, images are overall. So, when you have to go to questions, you practice not do the questions. Ko aap practice mat it is an opportunity for you to revise. So, after your Japanese format is the haiku and tanka. Ye hum bhool jate hai. So, next time, ab, ab haiku, everybody will know. But kya aapko pata hai? It's just not haiku, but it's also tanka. Right? So, aapke is your Japanese format like haiku, haiku and tanka, these kind of forms which try to condense everything, this is actually being used. So, aapko thoda sa dhyan rakhna hai. You'll have to keep that in mind altogether. The strand of modernism, the strand of modernism actually comes in. Good evening, Devashish. Good evening. Good evening. So, uh, please remember Remember all the characteristics, please remember kind of uh, you know imagism to hai ya ki modernist poetry ko ek tarah se help karta. I'm just hiding a little so that all of you can uh, see that these are the characteristics of images poetry. So a question aapko milta hai, aap isra wo a question hi karna hai. You actually have to revise everything. Okay, aapko har ek cheez maha par revise karni padengi. So please make a note of that. Okay, next question. 
who among the following is mourned in Walt Whitman's O Captain My Captain? So O Captain My Captain me who is getting mourned? Very simple question. Let's see how many of you get it right. Very simple question. Let's see how many of you get it right. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Ravi. Good evening, Sneha. Good evening, Devashish. Good evening, Abhishek. Sharbani. Uh, Jaldi se bataiye, what is the right answer over here? Jaldi se bataiye, what is the right answer over here? Oh, captain, my captain. Oh, captain, very good. D is the right answer. Almost everybody has got the right answer. Abraham Lincoln is the correct answer. So Abraham Lincoln was a president. He was assassinated on 14th April uh, 1865. And you're able to see on his death, works likhe te. And one of the works that he had written was, of course, Oh, captain, my captain. He's also written when lilacs last in the dooryard doom. Uh, you remember Booker Award winning work kar rahe te, to we talked about Lincoln at the Bardo. Um, we had George Saunders ki ye book kar rahe te, Lincoln at the Bardo. Uh, so, so that of course was different. That was talking about Lincoln's death, uh, death of his own son. Uh, but here at the loss of uh, President Abraham Lincoln, unke assassination pe, unke death pe, you are able to see oh captain, my captain is coming. Uh, he was the 16th president. He was assassinated and he was assassinated just a few days after the end of the civil war. That is what you are able to see. Okay. So, we are even going to that you led the ship beautifully. You were a beautiful sailor altogether. That is what he tries to talk about. Whitman Overall, also, please, yaad rakhna, he's famously called as the father of pre wars. That is a title that is given to Whitman overall. And how Whitman changes the face of poetry. So, 20th century poetry, the Kate Ate, 19th century poetry, Emily Dickinson and Whitman, they are the ones who are shaping the poetry. Her God, her Lucifer, beware, beware, out of the ash I rise with my red hair and I eat men like air. Ye bataye, what is the correct answer over here? Okay, good evening, Komal. Good evening, future dominator. Okay, Jaldi se bataye, what is the correct answer over here? Very good. Abhilasha, A is absolutely the correct answer over here. Now, these lines kahan se li gai hai? Lady Lazarus. Lady Lazarus, this is hai? Sylvia Plath. Ne likha hai. So, Plath is an important confessional poet, right? That is, uh, again, another important point. So, ye her, her god, her Lucifer, beware, beware, out of the ash, I rise with my red hair and I eat men like air. So, what are you able to see? This is from Sylvia Plath's Lady Lazarus. And, you know, if you don't know this, if you don't know this, from rising this is actually the myth of phoenix phoenix is the one who's rising from the ashes so thoda sa aap agar mix ko bhi kar lenge good evening sunali bache to bhi aapko pata chal jayega right then also you will be able to actually look at it to thoda sa dhyan dijiye it's not important ki aapko pata hai even if you were not aware that this is coming from sylvia plath's poem lady lazarus but if you were aware about ki myth of lazarus kya hai you would have been able to answer uh, abhi ke jo speaker hai she is comparing her suffering to the people living in in the nazi camp, concentration camps a lot of people have said that it's far fetched, ho jata hai, but that's the mental trauma that she's trying to talk about. Today, in 9:30 p.m., in question class, mein, we were talking about trauma writings. We were talking about trauma literature as well. That was question we were doing. I hope you can recollect. So again, we are able to see graphic difficulty about you know uh, the mental agony that she's undergoing. Remember, we were doing this in classroom class. We were American literature. So Charlotte Perkins Gilman's yellow wallpaper also becomes an example of this. Okay, uh, so please keep that. That in mind. Do remember uh, that. Okay, please keep that in mind. Chali, jaldi se, uh, let's just uh, now move on to the next question. What comes after great pain in the famous Emily Dickinson poem? What comes after great pain? What comes after great pain? What comes after great pain? What are you able to see that comes after great pain? Yes, absolutely right, Aziz. Daddy is also talking about the the so-called uh, oppressors. So, patriarchy ko wo oppressors ki tarah connect kar de di hai. That is what you are able to see. Very good. Ravi Pandey has got the right answer. Right? Ravi Pandey has got the right answer. We are able to see that most of you have got the right answer. Formal feeling is absolutely the correct answer. So, what comes after great pain? Yaha par we are able to see this is a formal feeling that you are able to uh, look at. So, Walt Whitman, 19th century ki important poet hai. Then we did a question on Sylvia Plath starting me. We looked at, oh, Captain, my Captain, that was 
Walt Whitman story. Uh, imagism is what we looked at. T, you will miss the father. Connection banate rahi and keep on revising. Then only will you be able to recollect things. That is very important. Okay. Now again, Emily Dickinson, we are able to see after great poem, the mental anguish that she's talking about. After great pain, a formal feeling, right? After great pain, what is she talking about? She's talking about after great pain, right? After great pain, there is a formal feeling that comes in, right? There's a formal pe feeling. You, you, you get used to it. You're understanding what is the pain, what is the misery, what is the reason for your pain and misery. So that is another thing that you're able to look at. Okay, ye kal ka question hai. this is just to see, okay, um, so this is just to see uh, whether all of you pay attention, so this is just like a icebreaker sort of a thing, Pilgrim's Regress is a book of allegorical fiction by, you just to see that you actually read that or not, right, you actually read that or not, whether you, you actually read that or not, okay, no worries, Vishal, you are missing you, don't be late next time, be on time, okay, and today we started like two minutes early, uh, we, we were like indigo and not spice chair. Uh, so yes, C.S. Lewis is absolutely the correct answer. C.S. Lewis is absolutely the right answer over here. Uh, Pilgrim's Regress show hai, ye C.S. Lewis likh rahe hai. And we are able to see Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress, the, the entire journey that Christian is carrying carrying forward that is different that is pilgrim's progress this is pilgrim's regress the pilgrim's regress to hey yes yes to us very good next question for today milkman is a historical psycho uh, psychological fiction novel written by the irish author abhi hum logo ne classroom class mein bob poetry by seamus henny he is also an irish poet that we looked at maria edgeworth 8 pm ki class mein when we were looking at the development of novel maria edgeworth we had seen that is also she is also telling you about irish life so connections banate rahiye that is something which is very important okay very nice yes as is like rajini that is very good very good uh, what is the correct answer over here yes 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 absolutely absolutely kuch kuch log ka sneha johar jo rahar ka sahi jawab aa gaya hai monica ne sahi jawab de diya ravi ne sahi jawab de diya vishal ne de diya tithi no bache tithi wrong but tithi is a good student very nice okay now d is the right answer so milkman jo hai it won the booker prize in 2018 okay milkman ka booker prize mil raha hai 2018 mein booker prize mil raha hai and please यहाँ पर याद रखना दैट व्हेन यू आर लुकिंग एट द आयरिश राइटर्स जेजी पेरल सीज ऑफ कृष्णापुर एंड द ट्रबल्स के लिए ही इज आल्सो गेटिंग द बुकर आयरिश राइटर्स ओवरऑल आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाते हैं सो एना बर्न्स का नाम आप प्लीज आयरिश राइटिंग्स के अंदर लिख लीजिए जो आपके आयरिश राइटर्स हैं पीपल हु आर एसोसिएटेड विद आयरिश लिटरेचर उनके अंदर यू कैन एक्चुअली मेक एन मेंशन ऑफ एना बर्न्स ओके सो प्लीज कीप कीप दैट इन माइंड एंड ये स्टोरी बता रही है अबाउट दिस 18 ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल हाउ शी इज हरास बाय द older man the milkman that is what the story deals with the first woman to win the nobel prize in literature was who was the first woman aur aap logo ne surprisingly yaad hai 12th standard mein ek chapter aap karte the ncert books mein called the rat trap which was by this writer uh, so who is this person that we are talking about Yes, very good, Devanshi. Uh, Troubles for Lost Booker Prize mila tha because ek saal wo bhool gaye the, so they had retrospectively given the prize to the uh, Troubles. Very good. What is the correct answer over here? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Some of you have got the right answer. This is C. Selma Lagerlöf, right? Selma Lagerlöf, you are able to look at is actually the one. Um, ठीक है? She she was the one who was publishing this entire work, and then you know she uh, became one of the first people to actually get. Get awarded, right? She was one of the first people to get awarded. Actually, these e e questions just come to mind. Eugene O'Neill got Nobel Medal. Why you should remember uh, how you are able to see the first important African writers, Bol Shoinka, to get the Nobel Prize, and Dean Goldman, J.M. Kutsi. Uh, J.M. Kutsi becomes important internationally acclaimed writer. Uh, then you you will have to keep that in mind. Ke, uh, you know some of these French and German writers were getting the Nobel Prize. अभी जब हम German literature इसी classroom class में कर रहे थे textbook super coaching में remember we were talking about Herman Hesse, Siddhartha. तो आप अपने आप को ऐसे quiz करते रहिए, पूछते रहिए. उल्टा ही copy में particularly आप एक copy में note पा note बना लीजिए from starting to the very end. जो जो writers जिनको Nobel Prize मिला है, कौन-कौन से year में उनको Nobel 
प्राइस मिला है और ये आपने लिस्ट कैसे बनानी है एक टाइम बैठ के नहीं बनानी है आप लिस्ट बना लो बैक ऑफ योर नोटबुक नोबेल प्राइस बनिंग बुक प्राइस बनिंग और जब जब आपको एक राइटर पता चलता है यू विल बी एबल टू सी की इवेंचुअली आपका ये, ये लिस्ट कंप्लीट भी हो जाएगी ओके सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड ओके द सेकेंड एक्ट ऑफ बादल सरकार प्ले इवैम इंद्रजीत ओपन आफ्टर अ ब्रेक ऑफ हाउ मेनी इयर्स सो इवैम इंद्रजीत जो बादल सरकार का प्ले है हम लोगों ने इंडियन ड्रामा देखा था अभी क्लासरूम क्लास में हाल ही में सो इट ओपन आफ्टर अ गैप ऑफ हाउ मेनी इयर्स इट इज ओपनिंग आफ्टर अ गैप ऑफ हाउ मेनी इयर्स हाउ मेनी इयर्स के बाद हो रहा है हाउ मेनी इयर्स के बाद बाद हो रहा है इट इज अ गैप ऑफ इट इज अ गैप ऑफ ओके नो 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 नॉट इलेवन नॉट इलेवन इट इज अ गैप ऑफ सेवन ईयर्स ओके इट इज अ गैप ऑफ सेवन ईयर्स सो इवाम अंद्रजीत बादल सरकार का एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट प्ले है इट वॉज ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू इंग्लिश बाय विच राइटर इट वॉज रिटन इन बेंगोली ट्रांसलेटेड बाय गिरीश किनार और ओ यू पी ने पब्लिश किया था ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी प्रेस ने पब्लिश किया था इट इज टेलिंग यू अबाउट राइट अ कॉन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन द राइटर एंड प्रोटेगनिस्ट इंद्रजीत हुज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एज इंद्रजीत राइट तो यहाँ पर यू आर एबल टू absurd play है seven just like uh, you know Godo never comes in waiting for Godo so similarly ये play भी similar lines पे है and we've talked about half pay house is also representing uh, Indian existentialism that is what you are able to see so ये बादल सिर्फ कार का जो work है it is actually something which is based on uh, your existentialism जो idea of Indian existentialism के ऊपर ही uh, this is based on so please remember that okay uh, all right uh, Let's very quickly take a look at it. Which amongst the Indian playwrights was the first to compose the play on the marginalization of homosexual community? On the marginalization of homosexual community. So, in which of which Indian playwright was he was the first to compose a play on the marginalization of homosexual community? Ah, ये बिल्कुल भी गलत नहीं होना चाहिए. Very good. Dominator, Sonali, Mixha, Kasturi, Harsh. Everybody has got the right answer. Ah, uh, Mahesh Tatani is absolutely the correct answer. Mahesh Tatani is absolutely the correct answer over here. Ah, uh, so Tatani was actually one of the first people to actually discuss that, right? Ah, uh, I'll hide myself so that you're able to see this. So Tatani became one of the first uh, people to actually talk about it in in detail. तो प्लीज मेक अ नोट ऑफ दैट बिकॉज दतानी एज इट इज इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम ऑल्सो सो यू कैन फॉलवेज रिमेवर वट इज द नेम ऑफ द लाइन इन बोर्ड शो इन का स्ले द लाइन एंड द ज्वेल द लाइन एंड द ज्वेल के अंदर लाइन एंड द ज्वेल के अंदर वट इज द नेम ऑफ द लाइन लाइन का नाम क्या है वट इज द नेम ऑफ द लाइन एंड वो इज द ज्वेल सो बरोका की जो स्टोरी है राइट एंड देन यू ऑल्सो हैव द कैरेक्टर ऑफ लाकुनेल लाकुनेल का कैरेक्टर है बरोका का कैरेक्टर है यू आर एबल टू सी ऑल ऑफ देम इन दी ऑप्शन बट आई वॉन्ट यू टू टेल मी एंड हु इज द ज्वेल दैट दे आर हैविंग सिटी इज द ज्वेल दैट दे आर ट्राइंग टू एक्चुअली अचीव सो वट इज द करेक्ट आंसर एब्सोटली राइट बरोका इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है बरोका इज द लायन बरोका इज द लायन नाइजीरियन राइटर वोल्ड शोइंग का एंड हियर हु इज द लायन दैट यू आर एबल टू लुक एट बरोका इज द लायन एंड दिस बरोका लायन ही इज फाइटिंग ईस्ट वर्सेज वेस्ट मॉडर्न वर्सेज सो ब्राइड प्राइस दिया जाता था सो दैट इज द रीजन यू नो सिडी हु इज द ज्वेल ऑफ द टाइटल कैरेक्टर ऑफ अर फैमिली वंस हर टू बी गिवन टू बरोका ठीक है So again, uh, modernity versus uh, traditional values. That is what you are able to see. Bride price becomes a very important thing. And this play is. It takes place over a Sunday. Okay. It is divided into three parts: morning, noon, and night. One day per part is Lion and the Jewel. You have heard that one word, one day wonder novels, or one day may complete. Oh, jati hai. Just like Untouchables by Mulk Rajanand, the story of Baka. One day may complete. Oh, right, right. या फिर वेन यू टॉक लाइन एंड द ज्वेल ये भी एक दिन के अंदर ही संडे के ऊपर हो रहा है या डेलोवे मिसेस डेलोवे इज आल्सो अबाउट बाय दर्जनिया वर्ड टेल यू अबाउट वन डे यूलिसीज वन डे तो ये वन डे के स्वर में जो सारी स्टोरीज हो रही हैं ये भी आपको एक याद रखनी है एंड लाइन एंड ज्वेल इज एक्चुअली वन ऑफ दैम दैट यू आर एबल टू सी ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट Okay, the next question. Which of the following plays by Wood Shoinka is based on the impact of ancestral spirits on the larger social political environment in Nigeria uh, in the early part of the uh, post independence time? ये थोड़ा question का structuring में problem है. ये question का structuring में problem है. I'm telling you the question again. So Shoinka का कौन सा play है? Which is actually trying to tell you about Nigeria का जैसे independence हुआ था, and it's also trying to tell you about impact of ancestral spirits. 
What is the right answer here? Very good, very good. A dance of the forest is the right answer. A dance of the forest is absolutely the correct answer over here. ये काफी सारी universities में पढ़ाया भी जाता है as a course, right? This is actually taught in multiple universities as well. तो आपको जो dance of the forest है ये पहले परफॉर्म कब हो रहा था ये 1960 में परफॉर्म हो रहा था नाइजीरियन आपकी जो इंडिपेंडेंस डे सेलिब्रेशन चल रहे थे उसके अंदर ये परफॉर्म हो रहा था एंड स्पिरिट्स और जो बिलीव्स हैं राइट ऑन द लिविंग मॉटल्स हमारे तो वेस्ट भी कल्चर में लाइक यू नो वेन वेन वी आर लुकिंग एट मल्टीपल कल्चर इन इंडिया लाइक शराब हो जाता है वॉट आर यू डूइंग Actually, trying to pacify your uh, your ancestral spirits and trying to tell them that you know, make sure that it's easier path for all of us. That is what you believe in. Okay, uh, so yes, yes, absolutely right. Okay, ये भी थोड़ा सा unstructured है, but Ola Rotam Rotmi is the not uh, so the gods are not to be blamed is an adaptation of which tragedy? The gods are not to blame. The gods are not to blame. ये आप लिख लो इसको. यहाँ पर ये थोड़ा uh, structuring गलत हो गया है. What is the name? The name is the gods. The gods. I'm writing it down. The gods are not. The gods are not. To blame this penta also. Thankfully, the classroom one is a little better. Uh, the gods are not to blame this particular work. This is by Ola Rotemi. Ola Rotemi is writing. It is an adaptation of which Greek play? It is an adaptation of which Greek play? Oedipus Rex, Rex, not Antigone. Antigone is another uh, one. That is Kamala Shamshi. That is different. वो हम लोगों ने यहीं पे करा था. So Oedipus Rex is the right answer. ठीक <coughs> है? Oedipus Rex is the right answer. So this is this is actually telling you about Odwale. Uh, Odwale is having this sense of false security altogether. So you know, totally, it's based on Yoruba kingdom. Ke upar hai. That is what is coming in over here. Which of the following African playwright is concerned with the ritual suicide of a Yoruba king's horseman? Ritual suicide of a Yoruba king's horseman. So, ye a colonial era mein a horseman of the Yoruba king was prevented from committing ritual suicide by the colonial authorities. तो इसकी वजह से फरोर हो गया था because they thought it was inhuman, right? They thought it was inhuman altogether. What is the correct answer over here? <coughs> What is the correct answer over here? Okay. That is right. That is right. Volt Shoinka is absolutely the correct answer. Volt Shoinka is absolutely the correct answer. So death and the king's horsemen. ये जो play है, this is trying to tell about this episode जो colonial era में आता है. ये horsemen जो है of Yoruba king, he was prevented from committing ritual suicide by the colonial authority क्योंकि उनको नहीं पसंद आ रहा था कि ऐसा heinous crime हो. And according to the Yoruba tradition, the death of the king must be followed by the ritual suicide of the king's horsemen as well. Right? Uh, as the king's a uh, dog horse because the horseman spirit is essential to helping the chief spirit to ascend to the afterlife to say the death ho gayi hai aapke king ki to uske sath sath horseman ko bhi mar marwana padega because that is how the king will be taken to the uh, you know uh, that that is how the king will actually be taken away uh, the same thing just like in in india you had the sati pratha to aise you know cheezo ko jo mana kar rahe the so tradition versus modernity ka ek ek tarah se aa raha tha aapka uh, okay uh, this i don't know if you're able you'll be able to okay let's let's Skip this question because it's unclear. Let me come on to this question. Which of the following American playwrights wrote a play and dramatized the Salem witch trials that took place in Massachusetts Bay Colony? Classroom students, some of you have done this already. This week, in American literature, me, the which writer is there? Here, which play are we talking about? The play is the Crucible. So, who is the writer who has written Crucible? 1953, which Crucible has written? Excellent, Harsh Desai. Very good. 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 Oh yes, I can shift myself to the other side. So Arthur Miller is the person. Arthur Miller is the person who's writing the Crucible. So please make a note of that. ये आपके सालम बिच ट्रायल से डील कर रहे हैं. Which of the following characters returned from the treatment for morphine addiction in Eugene O'Neill's play Long Day's Journey into Night? Long Day's Journey into Night. Which character is coming? Which character is coming? So which character that you are able to see single day पे? Again, ये भी पूरा जो Long Day's Journey into Night है single day पे है. 
long day journey into night is also based on single day. So please remember, it is also based on single day altogether. What is the correct answer over here? Very good. Harsh Desai, Tithi Das, Inka Sahi Aya, Inka Sahi Aya hai. It is Mary Cavan Treon. It is Mary Cavan Treon. Treon is the one who's... Uh, this is absolutely the correct answer. So long day's journey, long day's journey into night, ye jo hai, poor acts mein tragedy likhi hai. Pure single day pe aata hai from 8.30 a.m. to midnight and you are able to see it is based on the seaside in Connecticut home of Trayons. Uh, ye jo aapke char major characters hai, wo Eugene O'Neill pe based hai altogether. Uh, so that is also something that you can keep it in mind. Okay. So please remember how Mary Cavan Trayon is the wife and the mother who actually uh, come, is coming from the uh, the long stint uh, after taking the the so called cure. In which of the in which of the following American plays does uh, in which of the following American plays does the playwright pose the question? What happens to the dream deferred? What happens to the dream deferred? What happens to the dream deferred? We very recently, I think, classroom class me, um, we were talking about this. What happens to a dream deferred? What happens to a dream deferred? Yes, everyone. What happens to a dream which is deferred? What happens to a dream that is deferred, right? Does it rise like a... Very good, very good. Lorraine Hansberry, A Raisin in the Sun, right? Lorraine Hansberry is writing A Raisin in the Sun. So, A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. He debuted in Broadway. Ke andar, and you are able to see that, you know, uh, iske andar, you know, the title is actually coming from Harlem by Langston Hughes. Just made Dream Deferred. Bola gaya hai. Uh, black family experiences ke baare mein hai, South Chicago mein. Uh, how they are not able to get acceptance altogether. Mama, the 60-year-old mother of a family, is waiting for ten thousand dollars ka insurance check, uh, you know, because of the death of her husband, and uh, you are able to see that how they spend ten thousand dollars spend. Okay, and uh, of course you you are able to see Langston Hughes' ki jo poem hai waha se it is coming. That is where these lines are actually coming in from, uh, and and you are able to see so Hansberry is is the writer behind these lines. In which of the following plays, Thornton Wilder breaks forth, uh, breaks the fourth wall through the character called the stage manager. Fourth wall ko hata deta hai. Ek hi mein aapko bataya tha, Thornton Wilder. Achha, ek aur cheez yada kya, koi unfamiliar na ho ke, familiar name bhi kabhi kabhi sahi ho jata hai. So, hum logo liin Thornton Wilder ka ek hi play jo bola tha, is hafte classroom class mein wo konsa uh, work tha, which was the one work that we had spoken in the classroom class. Can anyone tell me quickly, what was the name of the work? R Town. Yaad hai aapko kuch yaad aar hai? Our town. Mainne aapko bataya bhi tha. Our town. Our town was the work that I told you. So, ye ek meta theatrical play hai. Theater within theater. Theater which was aware about itself being theater. 1938 mein ye meta theatrical three-act play jo aaya tha by Thornton Wilder, jisko Pulitzer Prize bhi mila hai. It is telling you the story of the fictional small town of Crover's Corners. Crover's Corners. Fictional town bana diya Crover's Corners. And uh, everyday lives jo hai of the citizens stage manager jo hai, he starts the play he breaks the play and ends the play altogether uh, so you know he's a part of Clover's Corners also he's outside it also he's giving you an insider outsider opinion so you know our town by Thornton Wilder our town by Thornton Wilder where the playwright tries to collapse the next one which of the following set of characters discuss ghosts resembling the late King Hamlet in Shakespeare's Hamlet which of the following characters discusses discusses uh, you know, discuss a ghost resembling the late King Hamlet in Shakespeare's Hamlet. Very simple, very simple. After Act 1, Scene 1 mein hi jata hai. Act 1, Scene 1 mein hi aara hai. What is the right answer over here? Yes, everyone. What is the right answer over here? So, Bernardo and Marsilius. Bernardo and Marsilius, they are the ones who are actually going. Uh, so, ye aapka jo officer called Bernardo. Bernardo comes to relieve the watchman Francisco. So that is how you are able to see that both of them are there. In which of the following acts of Shakespeare, the Tempest does wedding mask appear? The wedding mask, wedding mask appears in which one? Med wedding mask aapka kaha par aata hai? Uh, you know, it contains music, it contains songs all together. Ye kaha par aara hai? It is coming in act four. Where is it coming? It is coming in act four. So ye aap yaad rakhye ka, where is it coming? It is coming in act four. So tempest to hai, what are we able to see? We are able to see that here, 
the entire masks uh, that is coming for the marriage that is where it's coming so please keep that in mind ki aapka jo uh, wedding mask hai right aapka jo wedding mask hai that is coming in act 4 that comes in act 4 Which of the following statements are not true about Shakespeare's romantic comedy Twelfth Night? In me, se kaun sa sahi nahi hai, right? In me, se kaun sa sahi nahi hai? Which of the following is not correct? Which of the following statements are not true about Shakespeare's romantic comedy Twelfth Night? Ah, <coughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. What is the correct answer? Or is me? Aapki puri ki puri knowledge check ho jati hai. Okay, what is the correct? Okay, Amrita Vani has tried, but that's not the right answer. Uh, Countess Olivia falls in love with Cesario. That's true. Okay, Aziz and Devanshi and Future Dreams. They've got the right answer. Very good. Which of the following statements are not true about Shakespeare's romantic comedy Twelfth Night? Twelfth Night is second Hilaria. That's true. Viola disguises as a man called uh, Cesario. That's true. Countess Olivia falls in love with Cesario. That's also true. अब अगर आपने माइंड मैप्स बनाए होंगे तो आपको पता चलेगा ड्यू कॉल और सीनो इज इन लव विद वायला दैट इज नॉट ट्रू राइट तो ये आप जितने ज्यादा माइंड मैप्स बनाएंगे उतना ज्यादा आपको क्लियर होगा दिस इज अ रोमांटिक कॉमेडी दैट इज कमिंग इलेरिया इज द सेटिंग दैट यू आर एबल टू सी ट्विन जो ब्रदर्स है वॉयला एंड सेबेस्टियन एंड दे सेपरेटेड बिकॉज ऑफ अ शिप रेक ये क्वेश्चन भी आ चुका है सो दे सेपरेटेड बिकॉज ऑफ अ शिप रेक वॉयला वॉयला डिस्काइज एज सिजेरियो फॉल्स इन लव विद ड्यूक और सीनो हुज इन टर्न इन लव विद काउंटिस ओलिविया राइट तो ये आपको याद रखना है सो ये पूरा का पूरा अगर आपने माइंड मैप भी बनाया है ट्वेल्थ नाइट का सो यू बी एबल टू सी दैट ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर इलेरिया ट्विंस विच आर द फॉलोइंग एक्सपीरियंस प्लेस एज अ टाइटल व्हिच इज अ डबल इन फ्रॉम दो डबल इन फ्रॉम दे मींस दैट यू नो इट इज गॉट अ डबल इन यू एंड दो सो व्हाट इज द correct answer over here just like you know the importance of being honest so honest is an uh, is, is basically an innuendo and an thrown day what becomes the right answer very good much ado about nothing is absolutely the correct answer much ado about nothing is the correct answer so ye jo hai it's a double and from day that is what you are able to see so nothing and notting uh, ye dono ke upar double and from day so just like honest um, both honest as well as the actual honest that is what you are able to see okay moving on to the next question in shakespeare's comedy the taming of the shrew which of the characters wins the wagger in the final scene Pansa wins the wagger. Wins the wagger in the final scene. Who is winning the wagger in the final scene in the taming of the shrew? Taming of the shrew revised हो गया है. Much of the dog about nothing. Why? मैं classroom students को भी कह रही थी कि जाइए check it in the uh, in the Oxford Companion to, uh, to English dictionary अच्छी तरह से. Yes. Very good, very good, very good. Absolutely right, absolutely right. Petruccio is the correct answer. Petruccio is the correct answer. So what are you able to see? कि जो courtship of Petruccio and Catherine है, right? Catherine is presented as the uh, you know the the obstinate one who has to be tamed altogether. right and jo aapke teen married couples aa rahe hain, that is also something that you are able to see. So please remember. over here um that you know the wagger that you are you are able to see okay in shakespeare's historical tragedy julius caesar the foreboding the foreboding storm takes place in which of the following days the storm hai wo kab hota hai ye jo storm hai wo kab ho raha hai so when you are talking about the storm when is the storm coming in when is the storm coming in yes everyone when is the storm coming in when is the storm coming in uh okay 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 no 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 when is the storm coming in so the storm is coming in ides of march ides of march okay so ides of march that is where you are able to see that the storm is coming in which of the following characters is not a part of triumvirs in shakespeare's historical tragedy antony and cleopatra and dryden was writing all for love over here right or yeah they dryden is also writing a, a, a dramatization of paradise regained that is what we looked at age of innocence paradise lost as age of innocence Uh, so ye aap dekh pa rahe ho what is the correct answer over here what is the correct answer we are pompey right mark antony of tibius caesar and lepidus their part pompey is not a part of it right pompey is not a part of the triumvirate pompey is not a part of the triumvirate to aapke kon kon triumvirate ka part hai mark antony of tibius caesar and lepidus 
Pompey is not a part of the triumvirate. Okay. Shakespeare's Troilus and Cressida opens with a prologue which makes reference to which of the following epics? It is making a reference to which of the following epics? Ponzi epic score it is making a reference to. It is making Shakespeare's Troilus and Cressida opens with the prologue. So it is opening with what are you able to see? Homer's Iliad. Homer's Iliad is absolutely the right answer. Homer's Iliad is the right answer. So, Troilus and Cressida that you are able to look at, right? It opens with the entrance, right? It's, it's opening with the entrance overall and uh, that is what you are able to see that it's, it's basically alluding to the, the Iliad, the epic is Iliad. Uh, Sir John Foster quotes, which of the following Winster wives in Shakespeare's The Merry Wives of Winster? Merry Wives of Winster, ke andar, he's quoting which of the following wives? John Falstaff. So it's just revising your Shakespearean plays also. Okay. What is the correct answer over here, everybody? What is the correct answer? Yes, Mistress Alice Ford and Mistress Margaret Page. Okay. Mistress both mistress that that's what you're you're able to see. So here Mary Wives of Winster or Sir John Falstaff and the Mary Wives of Winster. Uh, right. And Falstaff a character be I ye question aka net exam me pocha gya hai. Mary Wives of Winster me Sir John Falstaff ka character aata hai, the fat knight. Okay. Or ye pehle kaha kaha pe aye. Henry the fourth me aye hai. Part one and part two. And he comes in Winster very short on money and uh, in order to get financial advantage, he decides that I two wealthy married women ko court karunga, who are the two women, Mistress Ford and Mistress Page. Ford and Page dono hai. And he wants to send them identical love letters and ask the servant. He's taking the help of the servant that is Pistol and Nim. Pistol and Nim to deliver it to the wise. And when they refuse, then Falstaff, you know, sacks them. And in revenge, the men tell Ford and Page, the husbands, about what is Falstaff's intentions. And Page is not concerned, but jealous. Uh, Ford, he pursues, uh, persuades uh, the host overall. So that is what you are able to see. Which of the following characters is banished permanently by King Richard in Shakespeare's Richard II? Is banished permanently. He's banished permanently in Richard II. What is the correct answer here? Se bataye. What is the correct answer here? Or Ulta, abhi hum logo ne recently we talked about this particular sort of a work uh, in our classroom class as well. Uh, and uh, Amani has got the right answer. Ravi Pandey has got the right answer. Thomas Mowbray is absolutely the right answer. Thomas Mowbray is absolutely the right answer over here. Okay. So please remember that Mowbray is the one who's actually sent. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so which of the following? So here the second shepherd's play. One of the following plays uh, contains the character of Paul, Give, Dan, Mark. Ye, ye aapka clear nahi hai question. So I'm just telling you. Ye jo characters hai, ye aapko kaha pe milte hai? Ye aapko second shepherd's play me milte hai. Ye characters aapko kaha pe mil rahe hai? Second shepherd's play me mil rahe hai? It's not clear. Therefore, I'm telling you. So second shepherd's tale. Second shepherd's tale jo aapka hai. This is having characters Paul, Give, Dan, Mark. And we are able to see it is attributed to Wakefield Master. Okay. So please keep that in mind. Okay, yes, the Indian Queen is, the Indian Queen is, what is the Indian Queen? What is the Indian Queen? Everybody. Very good, good to know that you've done it correctly. What is the Indian Queen? The Indian Queen is, jaldi bataye, pass, thoda sa jaldi karte hai, pick up karte hai, speed thodi si. The Indian Queen is, the Indian Queen is what? The Indian Queen is? Very good, very good. It's a heroic tragedy in rhymed couplets by John Dryden. Uh, Aziz, Amrutwani, Tithi, uh, Tabassum, everybody had given the right answer, right? Shatapatmaiki, English. Uh, very nice, very nice, very good. Okay, so this is what you are able to see. And, and please, Yadrakna, Indian Queen, jo hai, it is in rhymed couplet and it was written in collaboration with brother in law, Sir Robert Howard. So, Robert Howard, okay. All right, please come on to the next question. Among Derek Walcott's plays, which one of the following is an exploration of colonial relationships through Robinson Crusoe's story? Derek Walcott ka jo play hai, it is an elaboration. So, just like aapka four, just like aapka four by Kodsi is also looking at the myth of Robinson Crusoe, this play is also looking at the story of Robinson Crusoe. What is the correct answer here? 
very good dominator very nice very nice absolutely right pantomime pantomime okay pantomime dominator ka sahi jawab aa gaya tha right pantomime that is the correct answer okay yes am i absolutely correct so what are we able to see derek walcott the caribbean writer getting the nobel prize the saint lucian writer he is actually using pantomime that is what we are able to see in pitter's birthday party stanley is terrorized by two visitors to a seaside boarding house identify the two visitors identify the two visitors jaldi se bataiye identify the two visitors so in pinter's birthday party uh, stanley he is terrorized by two visitors to a seaside boarding house who are these two visitors that we are able to see who are these two visitors yes absolutely right absolutely right these visitors are goldberg goldberg is there and mckean is there okay goldberg and mckean both of these are the visitors that you are able to see theek hai so please yahan par yaad rakhna both of them are actually there this is not a very clear question let me move on to uh, can you can you see the questions basically trying to tell you that dash is the subject of asif karan boy's play inkalab inkalab jo hai so we looked at badal sarkar today inkalab is by asif karan boy what is the play what is the theme of the play what is the theme of the play there is a very common theme that is there very good dominator z is ravi pandey uh, no it 36 ka de rahe ho 37th ka dena hai uh, okay supratim devashish devashish has got the right answer naxalite movement is the correct answer naxalite movement is the right answer so naxalite movement is the subject of asif karan boy's inkala three acts ke andar hai it is trying to tell you about the condition in west bengal all together realism social issues ke liye it's known tom stupert's play rosenkatz and gildestan are dead being meta theatrical lays bare the constructed nature of theatrical performances referring to hamlet's end and the elizabethan stage conditions lacking curtains on the uh, characters in stupert play says no one gets up after death there is no applause there is no silence and some second hands and that's death who makes the statement who is making these statements and so true and also true when we are dead nobody is going to be actually applauding us for whatever we are doing whatever we are working hard whatever we are doing as a hustlers so unfortunately there's no solace but we'll have to continue and being in good faith remember existentialism good faith bad faith so we have to do the gildestern is absolutely right gildestern is absolutely right so gildestern to hell he says no one gets up after death there is no applause there's no silence and some second hand clothes and that's it right some second hand clothes because nobody will be even willing to give you new clothes also imagine okay uh, so that is of course there okay which of the following plays by david hair is not a part of the trilogy state of nation plays so state of nation plays jo hai state of nation plays jo hai ye david hair ka so what is the correct answer here what is the correct answer here what is the correct answer here very nice very nice good good ravi nice good choice a good thing so ye jaldi se bataiye what is the correct answer here which of the following plays by david hair is not a part of the trilogy state of nation trilogy dekho uh, the power of yes is not a part of it okay the power of yes is not a part of it the power of yes is not a part of it the power of yes positive and practical advice to help you uh, live life to the full this is a self help book which is there which is by abby head on uh, baki sare ke sare plays they are a part of david hair's trilogy overall So that is what we are able to see from racing demon to murmuring judges to absence of war. All of these plays are actually a part of it. So please keep that in mind uh, that they are a part of David Hare's writings. Okay, moving on. The first instance of female cross dressing with discon uh, disconcerting nuances of a boy actor dressing as a boy while playing the role of a woman is a dramatic world of Shakespeare occurs in. It occurs in which is which is a very first uh, play where cross dressing takes place and androgynous looks comes in. कौन सा play है which actually brings this forward? Cross dressing and androgyny कौन से play में आती है cross dressing and androgyny? Two gentlemen of Verona में आती है ठीक है two gentlemen of Verona के अंदर आपका पहली बार हम properly cross dressing देख पाते हैं so you are able to see you know uh, your your cross dressing is coming in so that is where your two gentlemen of Verona is actually coming in okay. All right moving on to the next in the first scene in which Goethe's Faust appears he is dejected by the study of philosophy law medicine theology he turns to black art to acquire infinite knowledge but he fails and in desperation attempts to commit suicide but refrains at the final moment what prevents Faust from committing suicide 
what is preventing him from committing suicide? And that is beautiful. This is a beautiful uh, yeah, Christmas candle also that we used to study as kids in our uh, uh, school test textbook. That is exactly or or uh, you know how how most of these uh, now now of course Christmas is also coming closer. Uh, so you know the the this the spirit that you're able to see. What is the correct answer? Abhi tak kisi ne correct nahi diya hai. Abhi tak kisi ne correct nahi diya hai. Usko kya stop karta hai? Usko kya stop karta hai? No no no. Sabne saari de diya. Wo jo sahi hai, wo nahi diya hai, ha? Everybody is given every very good. Abhinashka, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. This is the shining. This is the shining of the bells announcing Easter festivities. That means goodness is getting you back on track, right? Goodness is getting you back on track. So you are able to see the shining bells are there. So look for it, na. That is what is. Ye jawab ye abhi na ab ab jaise aap log ye questions practice kar rahe ho, right? Uh, especially agar aap June attempt ya baaki aapke set wagera exams ke liye prepare kar rahe ho ya gate exam ke liye the prepare kar rahe ho. Aap just be exam ke liye you know you are preparing. These classes should not go waste at all. Aap dobara se रिविजिट कीजिए जो क्वेश्चन हमने किया जैसे डेविड हेयर कवर किया है या यू नो एक क्वेश्चन आपका अमेरिकन ड्रामेटिस्ट के कैटेगरी में था इंडियन ड्रामेटिस्ट में हम लोगों ने इनकलाब देख लिया बासिफ कार बादल सिर कार तो यू नो कंपाइल ऑल ऑफ दीज नोट प्रॉपरली पुट इट इन द रिस्पेक्टिव बुक्स यूज फ्लैश कार्ड एंड कम्पलीटेड तब ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट रहेगा ओके so please remember that in the epilogue to congress we have the word there is a warning others there are whose malice we prevent such who watch plays with scurrilous intent to mark out by characters are meant these are false glosses feed their own ill nature and tongue to libel what was meant uh, a satire okay what is the right answer over here what is it uh, so what does this warning mean what does this warning actually mean what do you mean by this warning all together What does this warning actually mean? What does this warning actually uh, indicate? Future dreams. Yes, I'll I'll be making uh, a quick video also now. Every day there will be a short video. I'll be sharing. That's a very good question. I'll be covering the concept of uh, strategy. क्या होनी चाहिए? Good, good. बिल्कुल. तो ये ये क्या ना चाहिए? जो जो कैरेक्टर्स वो कहते हैं ना ये ये कहानी में सारे पात्र काल्पनिक हैं और इनका किसी भी आ, किसी भी कैरेक्टर के साथ रिलेशनशिप होना महक एक यू नो एक इतफाक है दैट इज व्हाट दे से सो दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वो यहां से आ रहा है ठीक है एपिलॉग से आ रहा है कांग्रीव के वे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड के एपिलॉग से वो आपको ये सारी चीजें आ रही हैं दैट इज वेयर यू आर एक्चुअली एबल टू सी सो कांग्रीव का जो एपिलॉग है वहां पर ये ये चीज आपको इंट्रोड्यूस हो रहा है सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड वहां से ये आ रहा है दैट यू नो क्रिटिक्स टू डॉट लुक आपको कोरिलेट करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है किसी के ऊपर भी वेस्ट नहीं है एंड वे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एज इट इज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉमेडी इन फाइव एक्ट विच इज टेलिंग अबाउट मिलमेंट एंड मिरबिल राइट एंड रेस्टोरेशन कॉमेडीज का एक एपिक वर्क है क्रिटिक्स आर यू द डॉक्टर फाउस्टिस इज ग्रेट बट flawed play what are the weaknesses of the play what are the weaknesses of the play according to critics what are the, what are the weaknesses ek to sabse pehle hamesha yaad rakhna farcical hai to give you a hint farcical hai so you can use the elimination method you know uh, ye aapko maine ek hint de diya is question ko solve karne ke liye tell us what else tell us what else yes jaldi se bataiye what else <coughs> Okay, that's absolutely the correct answer. That's absolutely the correct answer. A is the right answer. Very good. Uh, middle part का कोई development नहीं होता है. Language is perfect. Christopher Marlowe rather is known for the use of blank verse, so that is not there. And ending is also not a problematic thing at all. But the first two points are comical हैं और lack of development of the middle section. Middle section को नहीं highlight कर पा रहे. But otherwise, it's a very important word altogether. Okay, F. R. Levi's dismisses Bradley's interpretation of Othello by arguing what F. R. Levi's to him Bradley ki uh, kin kin chizo ko nahi consider kar rahe hain. What is the right answer? Othello should not be sentimentalized as noble savage. He is a normal human being. Let's not just talk about him as a noble savage. He says that. I've given you a hint again. 
And just second point he says now that is very important. Okay. Uh, so, so he says that uh, he is not the central character. Rather, Iago, Desmond, or they play a very critical role. Iago plays a very critical role. I can see a lot of answers. Othello is not the center character. वो ये भी कह देता है, ठीक है? So this leaves us कि आपका elimination method से आप at least ये eliminate तो कर सकते हो, right? You can eliminate these two. Othello is faulty in his understanding. That is absolutely true. F R Levi से बोलता है. F.R. Levi से बोलता है उसकी understanding ही नहीं है Othello की. Desdemona is responsible for Othello's strategy. He doesn't say that. So F.R. Levi dismisses and I Bradley वो बोलता है Bradley's interpretation of Othello. A. Othello should not be sentimentalized. B. Othello is not the center of the play. And third, Othello is faulty in understanding. Okay. और ये कहाँ पर आया था? Diabolic intellect and noble hero. Diabolic intellect and noble hero के अंदर. And T.S. Eliot dismissed Bradley's interpretation. Shakespeare and the stoicism of Seneca. Shakespeare and the stoicism of uh, you know uh, he also uh, Bradley with the Bradley who attack kiya gaya hai. T.S. Eliot ne bhi attack kiya gaya hai aur F.R. Levi's ne bhi attack kiya. Toh aap othello ke andar apne notes mein ye dal dijiye ga. Okay this is very simple. Come on everyone 50 questions. Let's just cover it quickly. Max the following. Ralph Royster Doister. The Spanish tragedy, Old Wise Tale, Edward II. Jaldi bataiye, what is the correct answer? And you can revise all of these concepts as well. Ralph Royster Doister, what is the correct answer over here? As he's like, death to one, a big kasoor hai. Right, uska only fault hai, handkerchief nahi rakha, usne sahi sambhal ke. Right, okay. On that melodramatic note, let's quickly answer this question. Let's quickly answer this question. चलिए जल्दी से बताइए. A is absolutely the right answer, everyone. That is true. Ah, so Ralph Royster Doister, Ralph Royster Doister. आपको आपका कौन लिख रहा है? This is coming from the pen of Nicholas Odal. तो Nicholas Odal जहाँ जहाँ पर नहीं है, आप इसको वैसे भी eliminate कर सकते हैं. You can use the elimination method and eliminate that. Spanish tragedy किसने लिखा है? It is a work coming from the pen of Kidd. Right. So this is a work by Udal. This is a work by Udal. This is a work that Kid is writing. Old by Stale. Who is writing Old by Stale? Old by Stale is by George Peel. So Peel is the writer who is writing it. So automatically you got the right answer coming in. And Edward II is by Christopher Marlowe. Okay, so please remember these. Uh, these are epic works all together. Match the following. Match the following. Jaldi bataiye. What is the correct answer everyone? What is the correct answer so that we reach our target of 50? Match the following. Rest, the rest is silence. The rest is silence. The rest is silence. Appears in, in Hamlet. The rest is silence. The rest is silence, right? Hamlet. Hamlet me hai. These violent delights have violent ends. These violent, very good dominator, Rajneesh. These violent delights have violent ends. Ye kaha par, where are you able to see these lines? Romeo and Juliet. Right, now this Ram Leela was also in the news because they have completed I think certain years all together. So Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. If music be the food of love, play on. This is in 12th night that you are able to see. This is in 12th night that you are able to see. And what is coming in 12th night, you are able to see this. And rightness is all is King Lear. Rightness is all is King Lear. These lines are important. Make a note of these. Yeah, for you it is necessary. Okay, moving on to the 47th question. Jaldi kijiye. In the school for scandal, Sir Olive Surface resolves all the problems when he returns from. He is returning from. Where is he coming from? He is coming from the place that you are, where I am right now. Uh, what is this place? That unfortunately we lost the World Cup. Uh, the same place. Uh, okay, so which, which is the place that we are talking about? Uh, yes, absolutely right. Absolutely right. India is the correct answer. India is the correct answer. So the school for scandal by Sir Oliver Surface. This is revolving around the problem that he, he encounters when he returns from India. R.B. Sheridan ka hai, ye pura ka pura work. Okay. Which play by Ben Johnson begins with the prologue admonishing the audience? He is scolding the audience. So, aapne audience ka bhi dekha hai. Jase hum logo ne kaha tha ki, you know, in multiple of the plays, so just revise. When we carry on, revise ki jaga, whatever questions we've done, that's your homework for today. This is uh, your homework for today. Yes, absolutely right, absolutely right, absolutely right. Bartholomew's Fair. C, I didn't see 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 C, I thought I saw C. Okay, yes, Aziz has given C, Bartholomew's Fair, okay. Bartholomew's Fair ke andar, you are able to see that he is scolding, he is scolding. He is saying, use your discretion, use your power, use your power to understand. 
ओके सो बार्थलोम इज पेर लाइन एंड ट्वेल्व बाय वोट शो इनका इज अबाउट ये हम लोगों ने इनडायरेक्टली डिस्कस कर लिया है तो ये तो हम लोगों ने बोला ही था ट्रेडिशन एंड मॉडर्निटी सो ये तो आपका हिंट आ ही गया है ट्रेडिशन एंड मॉडर्निटी इज डेफिनेटली अ पार्ट ऑफ इट राइट वी वी टॉक्ट अबाउट दिस ट्रेडिशन एंड मॉडर्निटी तो आई गया है व्हाट एल्स व्हाट एल्स इज इट टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट एल्स इज इट टॉकिंग अबाउट सो यू नो राइट प्राइस दे रहे हैं फिर नहीं दे रहे हैं तो व्हाट इज इट टॉकिंग अबाउट वेरी गुड तिथि हैज गॉट द राइट आंसर And the changing role of women, interracial wars or anxiety over nahi hai, okay? So ye aapko yaad rakhna hai, tradition versus modernity and women ka role change ho raha hai, you don't have to give bright price. Just say, kanya daan, daan technically is for a commodity. So a lot of people are revisiting their customs altogether. That is what you are able to see. The famous Irish play Juno and the Peacock deals with, the famous Irish play Juno and the Peacock is dealing with, is dealing with, which, which work is it dealing with? It's dealing with the. It's dealing with the. Very good. Supratim, Manisha, Harsh. Everybody has got the right. Uh, has got this right. Slum life in Dublin. Okay. Ah, uh, आप सारे के सारे और भी हैं. But आगे we'll we'll uh, continue tomorrow. Like remember, कल हम लोगों ने कहा था आज fifty करेंगे. फिर कल seventy five करेंगे. फिर आपका hundred करेंगे. And then we'll keep on uh, maintaining the momentum uh, of all of this. आज आपका homework is very clear. I want all of you to cover whatever pointers we have covered today via questions. इसको अच्छी तरह से कीजिए. क्लासरूम क्लास आप ब्रिटिश नॉवल एंड ब्रिटिश पोइट्री जो पार्ट्स हम लोगों ने एट ओ क्लॉक एंड नाइन थर्टी पी एम पे डिस्कस किए थे उसको कवर करके आइएगा जो जो पार्ट्स हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किए हैं अच्छी तरह से देखिएगा And in case if there are any other uh, problems, thank you Aziz. If there are any other issues or problems, doubts, please feel free to put it on the comment section and let us know. Fine. Sleep well, everyone, uh, and uh, make sure that all of you are practicing properly. In case if there are concerns, any other doubts that you have, please do let us know about it. So I catch up with all of you tomorrow at ten fifty PM sharp. Koi bhi details agar aur chahiye hongi, do let us know. And like I said, you are able to see uh, the enrollment for the June twenty twenty four cycle is is bang on there. Net ki, JRF ki, PhD and किसी की भी प्रेपरेशन अगर आप कर रहे हो सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू स्टे कनेक्टेड एंड ज्वाइन अस इसमें दोनों तरह के सेशंस होंगे रिकॉर्डेड प्री रिकॉर्डेड भी आपको सेशंस मिलेंगे आई विल गिव यू अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो और स्ट्रेटजी दिसंबर की मैं एक छोटा सा शॉट बना के आप लोगों को कल भेज देती हूं ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन वो भी आपको YouTube चैनल पे मिल जाएगा ऑल राइट थैंक्स एवरीवन टेक केयर गुड नाइट थैंक यू थैंक यू जामर विशाल रवि सुप्रतिम Uh, dominator Vishal Tithi Tithi is doing very good very well very well done Tithi Amya Kasturi Shweta Padma uh, Mohendra uh, Sam Sam Sangita very nice future dream Shweta Padma uh, okay good night everyone take care thank you so much take care bye